Yes, sir, we promised you a great day. Gorgeous, Jerry. Classy, the maker of champions. Andre, the giant. WrestleMania. Everyone has a uh, place. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Hi, everyone. So TikTok. we're changing things up a little bit. You know, normally we all introduce ourselves and uh, we all came to the realization that that's fucking gay. Very gay. We're not you doing know, that. And you know who the hell we are. Uh, we, yeah, you know who the hell we are at this point. And whoever whoever came up with that idea of introducing yourself and all that shitty shit in the beginning. Yeah, whoever came up with that, fuck you. You're a fucking idiot. Now we're not doing that shit anymore. You know who we are. <laughs> Welcome to your one of their friends. Wait a minute. We have our wrestler extraordinaire. You can catch him on the Geek Room, and he's also a big fan of horror movies. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the salty boy himself, Bran. Bran, how the hell are you doing, my friend? I'm just enjoying being called the resident wrestler extraordinaire. That's the first time I've ever been called that. Well, well I mean, you know, you are compared to us, especially been there. So you have such yeah. a horrible yeah, so delay. What, I hate yeah, it. Yes, so what we're gonna do today is. Yeah, well, fuck you, man. I, I'm sitting right beside a router in Louisiana. What, what do you expect? The fish is stealing your Wi-Fi. Get the fuck out of Louisiana, man. Somebody's stealing your Wi-Fi. Anyway, moving, moving on. Solid advice, actually. So, so, so you guys were talking earlier about uh, Bram. You were you you were an amateur wrestler. I want to know more about that because I, I was barely listening because I was doing something here in the background. Uh, no, I um, well, I I wrestled in high school for a bit and um. I mean, that was pretty much the end of that. Not a whole lot to say, but uh, uh, wrestled on the independents, making the transition over to the uh, the choreographed stuff. We don't use the F word, do we? No, we're, no, we're, no. We're, we're not going to call it, you know. But yeah, no, I, I, um, I, I wrestled for about, uh, on the independents for about, I don't know, four or five years. And then I spent a couple of uh, uh, years after that booking and... Uh, uh, promoting so yes i i know a, a little bit about the the minor leagues and the uh the, the greasy underbelly that it is i'll, I'll be i'll be honest i'm more interested in your uh, uh, uh hold, hold on hold on i'm more interested in your booking than your wrestling actually uh how was that what did you do what did you book uh essentially what my job was was i had x number of guys who had committed to a date for whatever event um, based off that, I would have to construct uh, what is called a card, essentially the matches that are going to be going down. In certain places, they just want you to come up with a card, uh, putting together guys you know can have a good match, you know can work well with each other. Certain other places actually want you to follow um, storyline or whatever they may have going on. Okay. So so, so you, were, you weren't really booking, you were uh, managing you the whole bitch. Well, I had to book the talent and then... Uh, Correspondingly, uh, did I you guess, ever get uh, to, Jeff? Uh, do their creative? I mean, it sounds to me like you did a lot over there, man. I mean, because that, that was more than just Brand. Oh, sure. Go ahead, Nightmare. Brand, did you ever get uh, Jeff Lewis Neal over there at all? Did uh, you ever no, get we Jeff we, book Jeff at all? We never, Some we never really. NWA. Yeah, we never really pursued uh, anything with Jeff. Like our thing was, we would, um, we preferred to at SCW have a a constant roster of you knew who was going to be there and they seemed like they were ah, okay. this company's guy yeah. almost. They were reliable. Um, sure. Uh, the last time I saw Jeff, I mooned him whenever he was in the radio station. Uh, that's besides. My, okay. So Anderson, I know that you want to go over the um, Eddie Kinks and then John Moxley in a minute, uh, competition. In a minute. In a, in a minute. I, I just want to, I just want to say uh, since, since we have a, uh, fellow wrestler here. Um, I I was uh, back, back, it's extraordinaire. Yes. I uh, back in high school. Um, I was training to be a wrestler. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I took a, I took a couple classes. Um, not that it didn't really work out. Again, I'm I'm a short motherfucker. I'm uh, I'm five foot six. I'm know? only an inch taller. I feel Brand? your pain, man. Yeah, yeah man. It's, especially back in those days when I was so young. Uh, back in those days, like if if your name wasn't Mysterio at the end, like you weren't gonna get anywhere. Um, but, but, um, I, I remember, uh, this was back when, uh, WC, uh, not WCW, uh, W, WWC had, uh, one of their schools here, uh, close to where I live. Uh, they're no longer there because he's um, from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Just say it to the world. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you said that, and automatically I thought of uh, the Colognes. We're so not telling the truth. Exactly. I mean, just by saying WWC, you know where I'm from. That's no secret. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not close to the Capitol. That's the thing. That's where they, re they, they've been the whole time. But they used to have a school closer to where I live, which I will not reveal that. But um, they used to have a school closer to where I live. That's why I went for about almost two years. Then it just um, he stuff in my life. Mouth. Stuff in my life happened. I'm not gonna go through it. But um, I just couldn't go there anymore. Met met a lot of cool people there. Met uh, met Dusty Rhodes once. Yeah, he. That's uh speaking of bookers, like that's top two or three of all time, Dusty. Oh, Dusty, man, D Dusty was just an amazing guy, dude. B b barely had any time for him. He was just uh, talent scouting at the time over there. Um, and just like most uh, most everyone that came in, uh, was just talent scouting for WWE because you know WWE basically owns Puerto Rican wrestling here, so. You can thank Primo and them um, and uh, fucking I, his brother for that. Well, the, they're not doing much right now. It kind of sucks because um, the last interview that uh, I think it was Primo, the last interview that he did, um, he was talking about, oh, they were going to do this comeback back in uh, 2018. And uh, it just never went anywhere because Vince McMahon is a crazy son of a bitch. Like, they, um, they, they, I, they, I they have this. No, no, hold on. They, 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 they had this whole plan. I don't know if you saw the interview. They had this whole plan of bringing Carlito back into the fold and making a stable between those three, and it would have been. I remember awesome. hearing that Carlito was coming back and being excited because out of all the colognes, Carlito was, my, in my opinion, uh, the best and my favorite. Car Carlito is the most recognized and the oldest, so it makes. It's sense. also the hair. It's the hair. It's, it's the hair and the backstabber is what. Not, like. not just, I mean, he's the golden child of Cologne, so of the of the whole so family. It was very funny. Uh, I remember. Anderson, wait a minute. So sort of like what they're doing with the with the Usos and Roman Reigns right now. So, so I'll, I'll get I'll get to that. But but just to finish off, yeah, no, um, I I basically took bump bump classes and uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun, man. I, I I never got to the point where you were, but uh, again again I was like fucking fifteen at the time, but it was so much fun. So I, wanna, I, I, I honestly wish I could go back to that. I want to bring up something uh, because you mentioned um, Carlito. Um, I remember watching oh, it was something. It was uh, it was something where it was like uh, it, it was something some match where it was like um, it, it was no. I was rewatching the fucking um, the WWE uh, WrestleMania where the Hardys came back, right? And yeah. Uh, they were like, it is the first time in so many years. Is like, and they were like, in like twenty years, and uh, I don't know, it was like it was longer than it had, much kind of longer than it had been since the titles have been on the line at WrestleMania. And I was just like, no, because no. the Colognes beat Miz and Morrison to unite the titles at WrestleMania twenty five. I remember this because it was a lumberjack match with all the other tag teams in the in 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 the fucking WWE outside. Man, I remember WrestleMania 25 like a fucking book, and and that's only because of Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. You mean the greatest wrestling match of all time? I mean the greatest match, wrestling match, not of all time, but in WWE, definitely the greatest match, wrestling match in WWE history. And and if anybody has a different opinion, uh, fight me. It's hard to come up with another one that really tops it in every way. You you know the only one that comes close to topping it, the rematch. Literally the, yeah, the rematches, the yeah. rematch, and also the. I mean, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, my pick would be Sean versus Bret in that Iron Man match. Nah, <laughs> give it to the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, dude. In terms no, of the storytelling, Iron I Man's think good, but I, yeah, I don't know if I could give it the edge. I think the only one that had better story behind it was the retirement match against Ric Flair. Um, e e even then, I still give yeah. it to Taker. I, I give it to Taker and, and Sean. I mean, dude, it's just that years in the making and then the rematch. I, 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 I like to count them both as one whole storyline. I mean, the, it sort of started at the 07 Royal Rumble, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, it did. And then it went to the 08 Royal Rumble whenever they entered one and two. Then you had to wrestle and, and, and no, and, 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 and then... And then all the characters that were just brought into that storyline on the side, like and, Jericho and, they, and Triple H... And then they fucked it all up by having him compete at Saudi Arabia. No, we don't Seven. talk about that. that that's oh, not canon. The, that's um, not bald, dude. That never happens. That was. That, that's yeah, not canon. Exactly. The, um, the, 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 
What, what happens ever, in Saudi Arabia stays in Saudi Arabia. That's not fucking canon. Especially whenever the Saudi Arabia, Arabian government strands you in a plane because they didn't like your show. <laughs> right. But well, the thing I wanted to bring up is um, the thing I remember about that um, that WrestleMania 25, WrestleMania 26 storyline is whenever Shawn Michaels like, broke inside the Elimination Chamber and super, and super kicked Undertaker. And the look yeah. on Jericho's face yeah, is just Jericho. Like, oh, yeah. what? <laughs> Oh what? I went, oh, I went well, for to, me? I've been to one WrestleMania in my life, and unfortunately, it was twenty-seven. I drove oh, same here. Uh, yeah. I've oh, been, oh, when I've you were there too. Zero. Yeah, that's the oh, only man. mania I've ever been to, and yeah, what a fucking letdown. Was that yeah, the one exactly. where Randy CM Punk? No, that was the one with Miz and Cena and The Rock. Yeah, dude, it felt yeah. like a fucking. It felt like a B pay per view. It did because. I mean, well, the best thing you with that mini was the triple hitch Undertaker match, right? Yeah. Probably the highlight of the night, yeah. 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 Like, I went there, I was, hold on, when was that? That was uh, 2011. 2011. Yeah. You all yeah, are was... probably going to hate me for this. Is it bad that my favorite match of WrestleMania 26 is actually the uh, Legacy triple threat match? Go jump off a bridge. <laughs> and do you know why? It's only because I really wanted to see Ronnie so, Orton pump someone and because so, he pumped hey, 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 hey. So, so here's the thing, right? Uh, let, let me tell you something. I've never been to a WrestleMania. I've never been to a WWE uh, live event. I've been to one house show really run in my entire life. Because, I, again, I'm, I'm Puerto Rico, so naturally. Do you I guys remember... I, I was oh, at a house show in Belfast. Hold on. Dude, do you guys remember? I think it was um, uh, 2028... 20, uh, to 2008 or uh, or 2009. Uh, what was the year that CM Punk was the world heavyweight champion? Like uh, right after Straight Edge Society, his second cash in, shit like that. It was, I know he was world heavyweight Sorry. champion before he hit the Straight Edge Society. Okay, okay. So it was. Uh, it, it was also, literally. Was it? It, it, um... it, it was literally a while. He was feuding with the Undertaker while he was the world champion at the time. Yeah, that was like what 09 or something. 09, yeah, yeah. So so that was the house show I went to. Um, it, it was uh, that was still when uh, ECW was still alive, so um, the R- Raw Raw superstars were not on that show. It was literally uh, sold to us as yeah, like SmackDown. The first one, uh, my first oh, show. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, fuck you! I'm not done with my damn story. Fuck you, Nightmare. <laughs> it, it was literally it was literally sold to us as SmackDown versus ECW. Now the women back then sucked ass nobody gave a fuck about the women so besides the women i remember every single match as if it was yesterday i, I remember the fatal four away for the ecw championship which was which tommy, was, it, it, tommy was fucking in it all right it was it was tommy william regal Shelton benjamin and uh the ecw champion at the time which was christian in a fatal four-way match that match was amazing and, and my god dude the whole building Hated Regal so I hard. I still can't believe that they made the final ECW champion big Ezekiel Jackson. I don't give a fuck. It should have been for like a second. Yeah, it should have been. Let's be honest. The the original ended. Brand ended. Ended. No, no, no. The original ECW. Thing, ECW. <clears throat> no, hold, hold on, hold on. So, so here's the thing. Uh, at that time, the the unified tag team champions were uh, Big Show and and uh, Jericho. And that night they fought Primo and Epico. Now, if you don't remember, Primo Jericho. and Epico, it wouldn't yeah, Jericho. Who gives a fuck? Primo and Epico Epico. back then. It would have been Carlito. Yeah, no, no, Primo and Carlito. My bad. Primo and Carlito. So Primo, if you guys don't remember, Primo and Carlito were uh, feuding at the time because they lost the championships to Carlito turn heel. That night, Primo came out and did an amazing promo in Spanish for Carlito, convincing him, we have to do this. We have to win back the titles for Puerto Rico, my brother. And, dude, we were all so hyped. And then they lost because it's a house show. And, and they don't usually change the house show. And because, of, <laughs> and because they were against Jericho. And it was against Jericho. But, uh, oh, dude, Jericho. Yeah, so, dude, no, no, no. So here's the thing. I, so I'm sure Anderson, you can look it up a lot. Me, uh... I, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I, I let you speak. A lot. Let me finish my damn story. This is, this is my childhood, man. Yeah, this is from 09. Fuck you. Let me finish. Now listen, I still have the t-shirt, damn it. It still fits. <laughs> so so here's the thing, right? So um, you can find this. Uh, I, I don't know where. I would have to look it up and send it to you guys. J- While Big Show was doing all the hard work against uh, Carlito and Primo, Jericho was just in the corner 
taunting us. And he was in my side of the of the ring, right? Like uh he was right next to me. Somebody got so pissed at Jericho because he was taunting the fans. Somebody threw a fucking beer bottle at him and he and they hit him. They fucking hit him in the back, and it was the most hilarious. Did he know salad? Oh shit. What was that? Did he know salad the way Brock did whenever that guy threw the fucking thing and hit him in the face? Dude, Jericho <laughs> Jericho was not happy. Jericho was not fucking happy. He grabbed the beer bottle did not smash because it 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 ricocheted off him and then landed on the soft padding outside of the ring. He picked it up. And just threw it close to me. Like, I wasn't even the one who threw it, dude. That was some hilarious shit, man. I, I was I was Christ, a young lad at the time. I love how uh, Jericho back then, like, in, if you think, like, 2008, 2000... All right, you, you um, could not piss him off. Like, nine, Jericho back then could not handle the fans. He was, like, he, was, he wasn't he was mid-card, but he wasn't top, top card either. He was, like, in between. But now he's, like, top card wrestler in the world. Like he's top ten for me. Um, Jericho, Jericho is like easily top five. Back then, back then he wasn't even. He was probably top twenty. Now, now he's just top five. I, I've learned to, cause I used to hate Jericho, dude. I fucking hated him. Like, like you know, story, story wise, I hated him. Uh, now I just fucking love him because you know, I remember uh, everything he's ever done. I remember the fucking storyline where it was him trying to get CM Punk to drink. Yeah. Oh, but, but hold, hold on, hold on. Hey, bottles hey, of Jack Daniels into his car and everything. Hey, fucking. Yeah. No. Um. Hold, hold on. Let me let me finish off here because the, again, this show was fucking awesome. All right. Even though no titles change hands, you know, because it's a fucking house show, it was still a good fucking show. Um. Uh, JTG and Chad got spar with her. You know, crime time. I don't remember who they fought. They fought some some idiots. They, they fucking won the match. Who cares? It, it was a good card. The, the main All event right, was the show. best thing. Yeah. R.I.P. Chad. the The main event was the best thing because it was um, for the World Heavyweight Championship. CM Punk, the champion, versus the Undertaker. You have no idea how much that match meant to me. It ended on a new on a no DQ, but the match the match lasted twenty eight minutes. Twenty eight fucking minutes, and it was a great match up until the end. And here's the thing: I can forgive the end because it's a house show, so it ended on a no DQ. But it was such a good fucking match, dude. And the fact that they they kind of went, they um, they started fighting uh, close to the crowd. They got very close to where I was. I remember there was a bunch of little kids. I, I was part of the little kids because I was a little kid back then. And there was a bunch of adults. All the adults were were shouting for the heel, like CM Punk, CM Punk, and all the little kids were Undertaker, oh, dude. It was I fucking lived that show, man. It was the best time of my fucking life. It, that story kind of reminds me of like um if you remember like back in like <laughs> it was like 2016 2017 but also back when CM Punk and John Cena were feuding it was like yeah. it was like let's go Cena and you just hear the, both the Cena socks and the CM Punk chants yeah. the adult, roll out the kids now, now, now here's, here's here's Roman a, it was like it was like let's go Roman Roman, Roman sucks, sucks. <laughs> you yeah, could hear the bass in the voice. Dude, it, it was just so awesome because, you know, it's like the little kids are rooting for the fucking uh, baby face, which, it, you know, technically Undertaker is the baby face at this moment. And then all the adults were just like going for the heel. It's like, you know, dude, oh, yeah. like, uh, dude, some of the kids got aggressive with their parents for shouting for, for rooting for CM Punk. It was fucking I, uh, hilarious. I want to take a, uh, I want to, I want to spin off now mention because we're talking about heels and faces. Bron. A nightmare. What do you think now? I I think WD has actually managed to do the impossible, and they've made me like Roman Reigns. Oh yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like it's, I it's liked him back complaint. in the early days of the Shield, but like I, I think he was, I think he was the worst thing that, that like happened to the top card since fucking Fandango beating Jericho clean. Well, I mean, it's like you know, everyone, the general fan consensus for many a year was like, hey, could we get Hill Cena again? To which you really never properly did. So I, I think you kind of saw the same thing here, but way earlier in Roman's run. And I, I think it was the smartest thing to do because I didn't it's, give two they, shits they about him. Into a monster. They turned him into a monster. Oh, and yeah. they put him with the guy that made Brock look successful. And now Brock's with the wrestling Usos. Made... Yeah, it's weird. So like, yeah. And now with the Usos, this is going to be great. Yeah, this this is the – because we, we heard about this – 
super heel stable that was supposedly going to be built for years, and it looks like this is finally going to be it. Um, so how I long remember, until he runs into the rock? Oh God, it's going to be that will be fun. Um, no, I know they can't. But fuck that I remember up. whenever. Do you remember whenever Roman Reigns was like he he just won the title. He then he just beat Brock Lesnar for the title, and then he had to go because his um he he um his leukemia came back. He he came back. I um, genuinely remember. He came back to oh. cheers and and just the crowd yeah. loving him because it's like how can you boo the man after he yeah. just went through fucking cancer? I um, remember. I remember because because people hated him so much can't. despite everything. I remember that uh, even I was happy when he came back. But well, I think it was because, the because promo he, he did where he said, yeah. uh, "My name's Joe." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was everything. It was, and then when he came back and announced that he was in remission, it, it was all really good. But I remember genuinely some of my friends thinking, um, um, thank you, thinking, but like, think of all the shady shit that Vince has done over the years to make you like wrestlers, to try and force a wrestler kind of down your throat. And we were like, okay, Vince McMahon's pretty fucking corrupt. It, people genuinely, people I know genuinely thought, that Vince McMahon was having Roman fake getting it again to get people to like him. Because they so, have literally... So I, 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 I was part of that before. conspiracy train, too. Yeah, it, it, they, it, I wouldn't have passed it. They have fake killed people before. They fake blown up people before. Like, I mean... Yeah, like, Vince has fake blown himself up. I mean, do you remember TNA what happened recently, with... TNA fucking recently hey. had a guy get shot. I mean, do you remember what happened with John Moxley? I mean, be... People were speculating that somehow uh, uh, fucking Vince paid someone to give um, to give her an A uh, COVID to pass it on to Moxley. <laughs> no right, way. right when what a big fuck? fucking title yeah, match was coming that. up in, in AEW. I'll be honest. It, yeah, I, he I didn't miss I, it. I, I, I wouldn't put it. Um, he did miss it. He They had to postpone it for the, uh, for yeah. the next pay-per-view. Um, it, 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 here's the thing, though. As fucked up as that sounds, I wouldn't put it past the old man. I wouldn't put it past him. It's it's hard at this point to put damn near anything past Vince McMahon. I mean, he That's wanted... I was so uh, dude, dude, here's the True. thing. One, once, once you want to do a storyline where the premise of this story is that you fucked your own daughter, I wouldn't put anything <laughs> past you. Yeah, I rem- I've heard that story quite a bit. I remember would not King put anything Vic about giving birth. Hey, hey, remember Trump and Trump Trump Vic's corpse thing, guys? Are okay, you talking somebody, about the Katie Vick thing? No, we, we don't bring that up. We don't bring that up. <laughs> I remember. Oh, so do you remember, got, kind of, that I remember the kind of... That was the Lynch storyline in TNA. Okay. We're going to try and uh, not talk remember? over each other. Uh, they, oh, hold on, hold on. We're going to try and not talk over each other because th- there's a slight delay... And we can barely, I can barely understand any of you if you're talking at the same time. So we got to okay. take it a little bit slow. But, go um, ahead, Irish. Go ahead, Irish. Do you remember? Um, oh fuck! What was it again? Oh my god, my brain it, it's gone. What? It, so there was the Kitty Vic storyline, but then there was another fucking storyline. Oh god, you made me lose it, Anderson. It was it was the storyline where um, it was basically God. I'll have to fucking come back because it was always in my tongue. No, no, no. Something never will help you that. It was something Vince did, but like it was, yeah, it was uh, like it, it was so done? unfathomably like, oh my god, no, oh fuck, I remember what it is now. I remember there was this, re- there was a wrestler who died, like legitimately died. Which one? I, I can't remember. But Vince interviewed his wife live Owen? on. Was it Owen? No, it wasn't. I don't think it was Owen. It was Brian. I don't Pillman. think it was Brian Hart. It was Brian yeah, Pillman. Brian- when Brian Pillman died, it was he Brian interviewed Pillman. the fuckers. He interviewed his fucking wife the next day, live, and she was like having a full-on emotional breakdown. And Vince was trying to like talk to her, but also keep it within storyline. It was so fucking ah. And like, call her. Don't do this live. Yeah, did didn't fucking do that with Chris Benoit. Huh? That's because they couldn't exactly call his wife. That is yeah, true. Sure. Didn't fucking do that with Eddie yeah, did, either, either, did you? That's because Vicky I, was I, there. I, I just want to know. I just want to know where the line is fucking drawn with Vince. 
Because th there's a clear line. Hard. There's, there's, him too a, hard. there's like, a clear line. C clearly, murder suicide is one of those fucking lines. I don't oh, think yeah. there is a line. Only, only, only if it only if it can be tied back to you, which that's where the steroid thing flared up again. I, and that's I when guess. a lot of guys on the roster got really slim can, again. Can you imagine if um if the Benoit yeah, thing we, had no we, connection? We doing roids. No, no, hold on. Can you imagine if if the uh the Benoit thing was not connected to WWE or Vince McMahon at all? How much you want to bet Vince would have ran with it some way? Even subtly, I, I could see it happening. He would, because uh, I mean, yeah. it, it it took like, it took what like, like a month before. A of no, hold on, hold on. It it took like what a month after Couple Eddie days. died for them to start mentioning him and doing jokes. And now they don't talk about him ever again. Which is a fucking oh, man. I I I miss Eddie. I fucking miss it. Like, like uh, when I was a kid, one of the one of the the first wrestling match I ever saw was my uh, my uncle was watching um, Hulk Hogan versus Macho Man Randy Savage. That was the first wrestling match I ever saw at, at WrestleMania, and I just fell in love from that point on. One of the other matches I I saw was um, fucking uh, God, God damn! I I just I just had we were just talking about it. God damn. I'm sorry. I just had a fucking massive brain fart. Who were we talking about at the beginning here? <laughs> God damn. Because I I, I, I I just remember that match between Ho Hogan and Macho Man. I'm like, damn, that was a good wrestling match. Now, what the fuck was I? What was my point? I got distracted with that wrestling match because, man, that, that was a you good You were match. talking about um, um, being. I was talking about Eddie. Fight. I was talking about Eddie. I just remembered. Um, yeah, the, the one of the other matches I saw was Eddie versus uh, Rey Mysterio. And. Um, it's a, was it's it the one where it was for custody of Dominic? It, it was not. It was not. No, no. We don't talk was about it. Halloween Havoc 97? Hold on. Hold on. My point is this. It is a fucking shame and a big loss that, that we're losing wrestlers like Benoit and Guerrero. Because, you know, it, no matter what fucking happened, I miss them. I, I miss watching them work. The, the, those two were just yeah. fucking amazing. You know, I I know not every I know it's not a popular yeah, thing saying I miss Chris Benoit, but God damn it, I fucking miss Chris Benoit. All right. I really wish we could have gotten to a, I miss a, a seen that uh Guerrero HBK match they had planned for Mania twenty two right oh, before he died. Uh, they had a lot of things planned for. I mean, well, for Anderson, Eddie. you've also got to remember. Anderson, you got to remember that whenever ICP makes a song about you, you know you're pretty much a villain. They made a song called Chris Benoit, for fuck's sakes. No wonder WWE doesn't mention ICP. Of ever. course. Remember, so every, 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 everybody and their mother mentions ICP at one, at one point or another, and now I know why WWE does not mention ICP. I just remember whenever that guy from the wrestling shoot interviews, um, I can't remember his name, um, but he, he he was like asking <laughs> – it's, it's the guy that Joe was like um, – um, um, ho the ho bag and what's in the bag and uh, uh, like like uh, like asks wrestlers lots of funny stories and um, I remember like he gets sent there's this one guy always sends him a question like how big is Batista's dick because everyone apparently apparently it's huge <laughs> uh, but there someone asked sent him a question it was like hey have you ever heard of the of Pat Patterson's cream team and do you know anything about the cream team and um, oh, fuck. All I remember is, uh, I think it was um, Violent Violent J, or is it? Am I right? Shaggy Two opened Violent J, so Violent J was like fucking no. Why the fuck would ICP know about the Cream Team? I don't want to know about the Cream Team. I've never heard of the Cream Team. I don't want to hear nothing about the Cream Team. And Shaggy Two Dope was like, "Yo, man, yeah, we don't know nothing about the Cream Team." And then the guy was like, "I just want, I, okay, I, I, I won't tell you. It was the young boys who put up the ring." And like, uh, Violent J just goes, "Ah!" <laughs> just screams in horror. Later, uh, Irish, you mentioned earlier the Roman Reigns, the stable that's getting built right now. Love it. Yeah, I'm madly in love with it. Um, yeah. So, so here's the thing. I, a lot of people are gonna hate me. Um. I, I'm I'm an AEW guy through and through. Like I fell in love with with that company. I, I'm watching it religiously every week. And now 
ever since the Roman Reign thing started a few weeks ago, I've been tuning into SmackDown, like just to watch that. Like I will literally record SmackDown, watch the the beginning because they're gonna put Roman Reigns at the, at the, at the beginning, fucking always. Nothing changes, and then they're gonna leave Roman for the end so you can watch the entire show. Fuck that. I'm gonna record it, watch the beginning, skip to the end, done. That's literally all you watch SmackDown for. Literally nothing else matters on SmackDown. I'm sorry to Sasha and Bailey. Are there, are there even any shows. other important storylines happening on SmackDown so, right so, now? So, Sasha and Bailey, but I don't care. I like Big E's push. I hope that they do something with Big E. Um, I it's not important enough for me to watch. I don't think they should have split the new day. If they were gonna split the new day, they should have split them properly. Like had them break up like violently. No, no, no. I disagree. I think this was a good idea because here's the thing. Vince McMahon has been splitting every fucking tag team up. Like everyone. It, I think the New Day would have been just the straw that broke the camel's back. I think doing it this way was properly. Because uh, doing it like this, you know, uh, Xavier and and, um, and Kofi can do their own thing. And uh, they're just separated from Big E. Big E can just focus on doing his own thing. I agree. They could have stayed together, but I think that would have just implemented more of, oh, we're in the same brand, so we're going to help each other out because that's what we do. We're fucking brothers. I think doing it this way means that Biggie's going to have a fucking giant mountain to climb, and eventually when he does get there to the tippy-tippy top, which I fucking hope it happens, at least at least mid this mid next year, he should be world champion. I it always kind of fucked me off that um like the way they the way they had they had fucking it happened right it happened with the fiend and it happened uh I can can someone remind me who took right who took the title off the fiend Goldberg. um Rome uh it Goldberg, was right? Goldberg yeah Goldberg then Roman okay so Goldberg takes the title off the fiend after the fiend being built up built up built up built up built up right yeah that was disappointing exact same thing that happened to kofi kofi gets built up built up built up built up built yeah. up gets fed to brock lesnar it's like no we didn't want brock you could have put brock in the other show and had him win the title and no one would give a shit but you had to give it like we wanted brock if, if brock had won, won the universal title instead of the world Heavyweight championship no one would have given a single shit but because they fucked Kofi, everyone wanted Brock to lose, so that whenever he, he lost to Drew, who everyone wanted to be the champion anyway, it was perfect. So the thing would ha- that happened with Kofi was, um, uh, it, it was it was good at the beginning. You know, Kofi won it. You know, the the build up to Kofi winning it was really the payoff. Like Kofi winning it was the payoff of all that build up. It was also who he beat, won it against. The yeah, fact he yeah. beat not really good match against Daniel of Bryan. Of course, of course. But after after he he won it, it was just spiraling down. Because really, what else do you do here? Like you did it. You're the champion now. What else can you do other than defend it? And he had a uh, he had a couple of good defenses. But at the end of the day, it was just like the the, the build up happened. We got our our epic climax, and then there was just nothing to do after that. So the only logical thing was to take the title away yeah, from him. To- the way they did it though was bullshit. I do not agree with it. That's the issue. I, I I agree that they that they needed to take the title away from him because it, it just wasn't going anywhere. You know, it it didn't work out the way people were hoping for. It, it just didn't work out. Um, the way they did it was just shitty. I agree. So, with that. so are, you, are you trying to tell me WWE doesn't know how to get titles off people? No way. This is a company that just recently had the Raw and SmackDown tag team champions just trade <laughs> just swap belts. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no shocker there, honestly. No, I, it, I again, man, uh, all of us just get mad because, you know, it, it, it's like fantasy booking, right? We wish sure. things could be done properly to save some face for some wrestlers, but it just doesn't fucking happen. WWE just has this mentality of we need to go. We need to move on to the next stage of our fucking lives. Oh, what did we miss something? Nah, don't worry about it. We'll fix it next week. Like I, I've written storylines for independent companies before, and like, what? I, that's why I can't watch. I, I don't on a regular basis watch any wrestling program at all. I catch highlights um, because it's it's kind of infuriating to see that no one really does uh, anywhere near of a got a good job as they used to of building long term storylines, which is what I'm a fan of. Like, you know, same. It, you just really don't see it anymore. And a lot of times they just try to skip right to uh, the breaking point and skip a lot of what could have been a good buildup. 
and it's just infuriating to watch. I I agree. So, Bren, when's yeah. our when's our long term storyline going to come together? Oh, it's already started. <laughs> the seeds have already been planted. So, so here's uh, the thing. Yeah. Right? I I agree, which is why I've been I've been getting into AEW a lot because AEW is focusing on long term storytelling. Um, I've just been getting into it super hard. I mean, um, you, you, oh yeah, I, I want to talk about the Eddie Kingston thing real quick. Uh, we, we don't have to talk about that now, but uh, have you seen? Have you been uh, watching AEW, Brad? I have maybe seen a handful of their shows this, since they started. Okay, well, I, I've been watching them religiously. All right, and I can tell right now if you want some long-term storytelling. AEW is the place to go, man. And and currently, right now, somebody needs to tell uh, the world champion, John Moxley, and his opponent for the next pay-per-view. Somebody needs to tell those two guys that wrestling is fake because I, I genuinely – It's choreographed. I, I genuinely believe that those two want to murder each other the, the, on this Saturday. Who uh, Who is he defending the title against? Eddie Kingston. Okay. So, I mean – I haven't been following the storyline, but that match in general sounds interesting. They already had a match. Um, Eddie lost um, via submission. He did not submit, though. He just passed out. So this this uh, this Saturday, they're going to have an I quit match. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, and the buildup to this match has been, again, the, somebody needs to tell these guys that wrestling is – not real, and they need to fucking chill because, dude. Uh, I I send I send the promo uh, last night's promo to Irish earlier. He fucking saw it. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's legit. They want to fucking murder each other, dude. They, they um Tony Khan put the stipulation of okay, before the pay per view, you guys need to meet face to face in the ring. If you fight each other, the match is off. So they couldn't touch each other. They just had to talk shit. And talk shit they did. Oh boy. Yeah, I would. I. 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 I would enjoy something like a good back and forth roasting. You don't see that a whole lot anymore either. It. It was it, last night. It wasn't even a back and forth. Um, Eddie said one thing. John said another, and then they left. The, 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 it wasn't a back and forth. It was just I speak now. You speak, and we're done. But the way they did it, I, again, dude, you should look it up. You should look it up. Um, uh, from last night's promo, Eddie Kingston and John Moxley. Just, just look it up. It's just the brand best the, thing. Uh, put the. I can send Brandon. Put the link. I can. I can. Yeah, I can, I can send it to him. But yeah, Bram, I'm, I'm gonna. Out. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on uh on our private chat on the uh, on the old YIF topic here. There you go, Bram. Uh, you might want to skip no, like no, two no, minutes. No, yeah. You might want to skip the uh, the entrances and everything, but uh, yeah, gets heated. Uh, well, while Brand's watching that, um, well, I mean, what else? What else were we gonna talk about? Well, what were we talking about before I mentioned Eddie I, Kingston and, and well, John? Oh God. Uh, okay, I want to talk about that Walter Dragonoff match. Oh yeah, yeah, you did want to talk about that. Go, go ahead, go ahead. That's all you. Oh my God. That is probably it's one of the most physical matches I think I've ever seen, and it's not brutal, but just all the chops, the slaps, like you could tell they were beating the shit out of one another. Holy so, shit! If you have not watched that match, do yourself a favor and go watch it. Oh, uh, uh, if if you haven't seen it, what are you doing with your life? No, really, um, that match, I mean, it's, it's great. dude, 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 that match. It was literally. The definition of that match would literally be uh, I don't know, not the definition. The the literal interpretation of that match is one big piece of meat Stop slapping or slapping around a slightly smaller, oh, a, a, a lot smaller piece of meat. Just two pieces of meat just smacking each other and just smacking each other. Dude, oh man, the the facial expressions and that Walter, Dragunov was putting on. I love Walter. Dude, Walter's no joke. Oh yeah, like you, it looks like he like, was. I, it, I dude, oh, no. oh hell no! I used to, be, I, be honest with yourself. Be I honest with Walter, yourself. I was in the nightmare. 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 Be honest with yourself. I pay you a thousand dollars, and all you and all you have to do is take one chop from Walter. Thousand bucks. I'll take it, but you better give me my damn money. 
No, 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 bro. But but really think about it. One chop from Walter, like just full on chop, thousand bucks. Yeah. Yes, but you better give me my money. You might you might never breathe the same way again. I don't care. I got a thousand bucks. I'll be very honest with you. You know, you you might got you might have the balls to do that. I would not do that. I would not take a Walter job. Maybe for ten thousand. Irish died. Irish will be back in a minute. Brand, what about you? Would you take that bet? Oh, if the money's in front of me, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> I I would do it for more. Uh, a thousand does not sound enticing enough for me to be well, chopped see, by Anderson, fucking Walter. Anderson, that's what uh, we do in South Carolina. We hit each other with planks in the chest. What I'm, what I'm basically, <laughs> what I'm basically understanding is that both of you are cheap sluts, and I'm, I'm yeah. a more expensive slut. I guess so. I mean, it's, I mean, it's from, I mean, me and Brandon are from the same place. It's not very expensive. <laughs> I mean, honestly, do, yeah. No, but, but realistically, though, would you pick a fight with Walter? Like, realistically, a fight? I, I would not pick, a fight pick with one. Him. No, well, but I would take a no. chop from thousand dollars. No, no, but, but I no, 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 no. F fuck the chop. Like, would you piss Walter off? Hell no. Hell no. Well, you Crazy. would not piss that man off. I mean, well, unless I have a gun, then maybe. But no, no. Even then, he'd no. probably still come. Running e at you. Even then, he probably just eat your gun. Yeah, no. Like, but from all I've heard. Backstage, he is like one of the best people you'd ever meet. Backstage, he's but literally. God, you could. I'd put him on a short list of people I give a shit about seeing get in the ring with Brock. Ooh. Keith Lee is another one I want to yes. see get in the ring with Brock. I sure. I don't know I don't know how the fuck they ruined Walter back at Survivor Series. Oh yeah, they oh fuck it. See, I'd forgotten all about that. The the first guy eliminated and what like twenty seconds into the fucking I think match? Everybody says. Two two minutes in, like something yeah, like that. It like, was Walter. I I will be honest, I'm surprised he just yeah, kept going Walter. after that. It's it's yeah, no, it was Walter, I I know. But I'm just surprised that nobody remembers that. It's like that that's how that's how big and intimidating Walter is. As the as the UK champion, it's Thanks like oh us. oh oh he he lost in yeah it's my bad but no really like oh he lost in two minutes in uh in Survivor Series yeah who gives a fuck he's Walter. Now wait, one thing that they're that they're I think they might be building up to is Finn versus Walter NXT versus NXT UK. I would I want to see look, that. Look, I know I know WWE loves their David and Goliath story, but uh. Prince oh, Devin no. is oh, no, Prince you gonna die. Over. Prince Devin oh, yeah, is, like is you fucking Walter dead. Over. No, no, no. Like you put Walter over in that match, but it'd be a fun match to watch. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see Finny Boy try and do his thing and fail, and then get back up and fail, and then too many chops later, and then he's dead. It'll be similar to his match he had with Brock. If you remember that ridiculous finish. I remember that. Could have been better. Yeah, but he's more powerful if he comes out with his face paint on, man. Don't you know that? <laughs> Actually, Finn stated that he's not going to do that anymore. Is what, he, is he, so yeah, has he stuck to that thus far? Yeah, he has. Thus far, he has retired. Yeah. Why, why, has, why did he retire? Did he go into it? He just said that he wants people... To think of Finn Bauer as Finn Bauer and not as the demon. I mean, I can understand. He didn't rule it out in the future, but he said for now it's. Oh, dead. Of, of course. I can see you bring out the demon in very special occasions. Like, gee, I don't know. Like, oh, The Undertaker's not retiring. He wants to fight me. Sure. Because I'll, I'll be honest, the fiend of, maybe. I want to okay, no, because I'll, I'll be honest. Because I'll be honest here. Oh, I know that they're they might do AJ versus Undertaker one more time. Instead of that, I'd rather just see uh, Devitt go go up against Undertaker. How about this? What if you had the fiend versus the demon? Because if you remember, the fiend debuted by beating Finn Balor. Yeah. Not the demon. He beat Finn. Yeah, but they're they're not gonna do it anytime soon. 
which is disappointing. Yeah, that was his last match on yeah. uh, on the main main show. The main was roster. It? Yeah, yeah um, that sucks. So, um, God, I want to talk yeah, about he got, that Yeah, he got him. married. He got married, and then he went on NXT. Speaking of marriage, you know what? You know what pisses me off? Seth freaking Rollins. Here we go. Oh, you you know where and so, you're so, gonna have to limit it for two minutes. Bran, what do you think of Seth freaking Rollins? I mean, he ebbs and flows for me. Like sometimes, mm-hmm. sometimes I can actually feel what he's doing, and then other times he is just incredibly boring. Mm-hmm. All right. So let me tell you why I hate the Monday Night Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> so r- right from the beginning, I never liked Rollins. Never liked him, man. Even even back in his Tyler Black days, never fucking liked him. Th- there was just something off about him that I'm just like, yeah, no, I can totally see myself destroying that guy because he's a fucking little bitch. I-, I don't like him. I do not fucking like him. So, you know, I could understand, yeah, you know, you betrayed the shield. I, I saw that coming, by the way. It's like, hmm, who would betray the shield? My money's on Rollins because he's a little bitch. Called that. Now, I, I I can go on, but Nightmare doesn't want me to go off on this. So I'm just I'm just gonna go to my recent hating of Rollins. And it's not and it's not with Ray. Whatever's happening with Ray, no, no, I don't no, give a fuck. Free. Honestly, that that's, Feel free. that's fucking lame. Feel free. Feel free to go off. Oh, now you want me to go off. I thought you gave me two minutes. Fuck you. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna joking. go on. Tr- no, trust no. me, I, I don't. Fuck you. <laughs> so, so the reason thing why I hate Rollins. Hell, the reason thing why my girlfriend hates Rollins. She's looking at me right now, like, yeah, no, fuck that guy, hate him. So, look, I'm happy for him, right? I'm happy for him, right? He has a he has a kid on the way, right? He recently got engaged because they're, they're not. I don't think they're fucking married yet because COVID. So, here here's my problem. So when you came inside the bitch, did you think about her career in, in just the slightest fucking way? That's oh, what I want to yeah, fucking know. Fuck that. Because <laughs> here's the thing, man. I understand when you're running high and the emotions, like, oh, my God, I'm going to be a fucking mother. You know, I understand that you don't really see. Uh, it, 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 I'm going to sound like a total dick. I'm going to sound like a horrible person. But I, I think I think uh, Shayna Baszler said it, too. It's like. Yeah, no, that's a stupid fucking decision having a fucking kid when you're at the peak of your fucking career. And yeah. and, and 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 let's not forget that this was an oopsie baby. Yeah, oopsie. This was a fucking this kid was not fucking you're planned, fucking... much less in the COVID times. And this was an oopsie baby. Steve. So you're forgetting. So, so, Steve, no, Steve. no, 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 shut the fuck up, nightmare. I'm getting pissed now. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm a big Becky Lynch fan, if you haven't if you haven't noticed. I'm a big fucking Becky Lynch fan. So so when it came out that they were dating, I'm like, eh, you know, to each their own. I don't like the guy, but yeah, to each their own. I don't give a fuck. When it came out that they got married, I'm like, eh, you know, I don't give a fuck. When it came out that she was pregnant and she had to relinquish her title, then I lost my shit because I, I was riding high on that storyline, all right? I was riding fucking high on that Becky Lynch storyline. I'm like, yeah, Becky Lynch, you're like, this is awesome shit. Yeah, fuck shit up. And then that happened. And, and, and not not, on, not only not only did did uh Seth because I'm blaming Seth on the whole fucking thing here again he's the man he's the one with the penis here. Not only did he ruin the Becky Lynch story like he basically ru- he inadvertently ruined a proper cash in from Oscar, which also pisses me off because I think Oscar should have had a proper cash in. Yeah, I forget she uh she did uh uh. Win money in the bank and that mysteriously just held the title inside the briefcase. Yep. Thereby now, I, utilize, Anderson, I think rendering missed... that ineffective as well. Yeah. Anderson, you're yeah. missing a couple things. I, I know. Like I whenever am, he I, damn I, near I just... paralyzed and then he broke Cena's nose. Oh, oh, oh then he tore his ACL on a sunset. So, so, so here's the okay, so I, I, Cena. I, I took that out of my mind because I I don't want to get more pissed. But it, no, here's the thing: Cena can take it. All right, See, Cena can take it. Bal- Balor, oh man, the, that whole thing with Balor pissed me off because um, 
that was supposed to be something good, all right? Because WWE on, on occasion does good work, and, and the whole making battle of the first Universal Champion was good. But man, Seth, and, and Seth has this tendency of just injuring people. Now, here's what pisses me off, right? I'm an Undertaker fan. I'm also a Sting fan. Now, anybody who's an Undertaker and Sting fan, what do you want to see in life? You want to see these two old cunts fight. It doesn't matter how old they are. You just want to fucking see it. <laughs> and Seth Rollins may have just ruined that when he fucking... Oh! Dude. Dude. He so injured... Seth Rollins, he... if you ever see Anderson in real life, run the other direction. Or he... give him a buckle bomb. Whichever. He fucking... Yeah. Give Anderson a buckle bomb. Who buckle bombs an old man? That's my fucking question. <laughs> What the fuck's wrong with you? That's a legitimate question. You know, by not, the way. not only that, not only that. Clearly, Seth Rollins. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Seth, the last time you buck uh, was Balor before or after Sting? I can't remember. He was before. He was before. Before. Okay, okay. So, the, Seth, the Wait, last what? time you buckle oh. bombed somebody, you injured them. No, 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 the, no, no, no. He was after. no. Because he, because he was a WWE champion. Okay, I, and I, then yeah, yeah. F- fuck it. What, what the point is? Why is he still using the fucking buckle bomb? He's it was banned, but then they just my... unbanned it last week. He, it, it he's was... injured three people to my knowledge. It was what banned fuck, for a total man? of two weeks. Look, 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 look. Fine, two weeks. Fuck off. God damn. Look, Sting versus the Undertaker ruined. Becky Lynch storyline ruined. Proper cash in. From Asuka. Ruined. Uh, probably a handful of other things that are not coming into my mind right now. Ruined. I fucking hate it's Seth Rollins. And, 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 I, and I, I hated Rollins before he did all this stupid shit. I fucking hate Rollins so much right now. You have no idea. Every time Anderson. I see the Monday Night Messiah. No, fuck, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Every time I see the Monday Night Messiah on my TV screen. I just want to punch it and buy a new TV. I can't do that because I'm not made of money, but I want to fucking do it. I hate him. He sounds like a really good heel. No, he's just, <laughs> he sounds like a bitch. He's wrestler, a real dude. life heel to Anderson. He's, he's not. He's not a. No, he's, yeah, a, he's real a real life heel, heel to me, dude. Was he's a X-Pop real. Life, he's a I'm fuck hearing. up. All right, he's a fucking yes. fuck. Just like, just like, um, fuck. What's this bitch's name? Uh, who's tagging with Basler right now? Oh, Nia Jax. Nia, Nia, Jax. J- Nia fucking Jax. Look, let's not get into it. I'm just going to say it. That bitch should be fired. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that one for sure. That bitch should be fucking fired. I understand keeping Rollins yeah, because, she's you know, cousin, he's, she's cousin of the Rock. I don't give a fuck who he's cousin with. All right. Jax I don't give a fuck. Fire that bitch. Here's the thing, right? I'll give it to Rollins. He's actually a good wrestler when he's not fucking up. But, 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 uh, but Nia Jax, there's no saving that bitch. <laughs> get her out of here. Funnily get enough, that's. She injured Kyrie Sane with a buckle bomb into the, I, into the steps. The fucking, <laughs> it's always the buckle bomb, isn't it? It's always the fucking buckle bomb. <laughs> it is. God damn. No, no, no. So, no. Brad, okay, how okay, much do you take a buckle bomb? From who? $10,000. I take it. Rollins. <laughs> Oh, Rollins is giving me the buckle bomb? 20000 for Rollins. Okay, so first I have to investigate, like, how much does it cost to have my shoulder replaced? <laughs> so. Or spine or <laughs> neck. Depends on how you land um, on that bitch. Yeah. Okay, wait. What about Nia Jax? 30000 Oh, fuck. See, the thing, the thing is... You can refuse. Is, more often than not, Seth Rollins looks like he knows what he's doing more in the ring compared to Nia Jax. True. I'll give you that, true. So I may be inclined Everybody to go does. Rollins here. Uh if I if I have my choice. I'll do Rollins for twenty, nah 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 fucking Nia for thirty, and literally anybody else for five for five hundred. <laughs> I'm just imagining Bran like taking a buckle bomb, and he just baps or he just busts his shoulder and just screams, "Motherfucker!" And the <laughs> cameras catch it. They're like, "Wait, what did you say? What did you say, motherfucker? You ain't working for WWE no more. That's for sure. I'm not gonna need to. <laughs> no. Um. So so <laughs> ba- 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 back to my back to my eternal hate. So the the be- the, the Becky thing, the Becky thing, you know. 
I can take it or leave it, honestly, because it's like, you know, at the end of the day, if it makes her happy to be a mother, fucking gay, by the way, but if it makes her happy, good for her. I can't, I can't really bitch about it. One thing. Uh, what, what, what is the it? The one thing is that they were saying, oh, this is the most important thing she'll ever do. Like, oh, this fuck is the... you. Fuck so, you. So in case you didn't hear that, that's my girlfriend. She ha- she also hates fucking Rollins. She hates him. Cause, cause, uh, so so uh, my girlfriend, Jessica, here. So she she is a massive Becky Lynch fan. More than me, probably. Massive Becky Lynch fan. So when the whole Seth Rollins things happened, you can imagine that Jessica was not very fucking happy about the whole thing. It's just what the press said. Oh, that's the most important thing. It's the most important ever. thing she'll ever do in her fucking life. You know, fuck, fuck, you. Fuck, fuck that shit. Fuck you. Okay, calm down. Settle down, woman. Settle no. down. Settle down, woman. That's just very, like... Go back into your box. No. Go back into your box. Get out of here. Anderson, have her, have her go in the other room. What the fuck is that? Go back into your box. Look, honey, do like the homo. Stay in the closet. Get out of here. Get out of here, fucking faggot. I'm bi, by the way. I can say that. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm, I'm totally bi. No I'm comments. 2%, I'm, I'm 2% homo. I can totally make homo jokes. We here, we here at Your Internet Friends do not support what Anderson just said. Hey, Please hey, direct I'm into, all of your hate. Hey, you. I'm into chicks with dicks, all right? That's like 2% homo, right? Seven uh, percent. Brand is you know, also they, not supporting. You know, they, this said. is the re- this is the wrestling episode, not the sexuality episode. We'll get to that in another day. So, so, so here's the thing: I can forget the Becky Lynch thing. Right? I can totally forgive that. No fucking problem. It's it's fine. It's fine. If it makes her happy, it's fine. Undertaker versus Sting, though. Fuck him. Fuck him. No, unforgivable. We've been waiting for this for years. A, a fucking glimpse of hope could have fucking happened like three, four years ago. And 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 he this, just injures him. Might really no, piss you off, dude. Becky dude. might never come back. She said. I hate him. I fucking hate him. Can you imagine that? Like, if if she legitimately never comes back to wrestling, and that short and stint kill Seth Rollins of like this insane build up to a historic moment. And really good title defenses even thereafter, and that's just it. That's all there is uh, written about Becky Lynch's rise to the top. How crazy would that be? I Anderson I would go hunt I, down I, Seth I Rollins. Think, I, I think it's a mistake. I think uh, I honestly think that uh, she needs to make a comeback as soon as possible while she's still young. You know, the, and you don't need to be there for your kid when they're fucking one, two years old. They ain't going to fucking remember that shit. It's fine. It's fine. They don't need Brand, you for, for, their, for the minute, beginning Brand. of their life. Wait a minute. Hold on. Bran, you're a father. Is that true? That's, um, I mean, as far as I understand it, those are kind of like formative years. So you probably should yeah. be there. Nah, it's fine. Hey, I mean, like, man, you know what? So they, totally fine. they could always put a crib in the tour bus. True. I mean, True. Like, if she if she comes back, she's definitely going to work a lot of your schedule. Oh, sure. Oh, for sure. Which is fine. Which it's the man. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I, I have no issue with that. She she says credible is Lesnar now, so it's fine. I don't mind that. I she just kind of has earned Anderson that spot. Beat the shit out oh, of definitely. Seth Rollins. No, yeah, let's stop talking about bitch boy Rollins for a second, all right? Let's focus on let's focus on the people that matter. I'm just like imagining his wife. Anderson. I'm just hey, imagining listen, listen, Anderson listen, listen. like crashing WrestleMania listen. and hitting Shut Rollins with a tire iron in the middle of the ring. Shh. Shut up! Don't reveal all my plans, dude. Shut the fuck up. So listen, let's not focus on bitch boy Rollins. Let's focus on somebody more important, like his wife. All right. So. <laughs> So here's the thing. Um, fine. Look, she can be gone for like three years, four years, whatever. The point is, make good use of a fucking nanny or bring that baby on a fucking tour bus. The point is, you're still young. You're you're still gonna be young f- five years from now. All right. You need to make that comeback. Cause here, here's the thing. The way that that title reign ended, that cannot be the last thing. She I is think that, 34. Yeah, she'll be fine at 40. She'll be fucking fine at 40, all right? Uh, older wrestlers have had amazing matches. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. But anyway, point is, she she needs to make a comeback eventually. 
three, four years from now, don't fucking care. Just longer than five, more than five years, don't do that. Just between three and four years, just come back. Have have some amazing matches with literally fucking everybody except except Nia Jax. Everybody, just have amazing fucking matches. Just knock it out of the fucking park. No, no, no. I want to see that match. I want to see Becky. Break no, her nose. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No. So, um, literally, the way that this should end, the, the way that her career should end, is to be beaten by somebody very close to her that isn't Charlotte. Maybe my money's on Bailey. My you money's know, on Bailey. You know it's gonna be Charlotte, right? I know. I fucking know it's gonna be Charlotte. But my, <laughs> I still wanted to. I want it to be Bailey because here's the thing. I think realistically, the four horsewomen, these four horsewomen, talking Sasha, Bailey, uh, Charlotte, and Becky. Realistically, all four of these women have the potential to just be badass. I mean, two of them are already badasses. Uh, she, uh, Watch it be Nia Jax that in that ends her fuck off. Now. <laughs> fuck off. Don't joke about that. No, here's the thing, right? So. Uh, Sasha is like kind of mid-tier badass right now. They need to do a little bit more for her. And, you know, Becky and Charlotte are already fucking total badasses. I think that ending ending um, Becky's career by making Bailey into a full-fledged badass and just having these four women be like the, the, the flag bearers of the next generation of women's wrestling, just full-on badass. Like, just make the matches from then on just complete fucking like meat slaps like Walter versus Dragonoff. I think that's what they should do with their women's wrestling. No, wrestling. they can't do that. No. So like I hear what you're saying, but there's another contender. Let me tell you about her. Um she's not like most girls. Um you two are just hurting. You two are just fucking with my feelings now. I, I know where you're going with this. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. I'm just imagining like the end of her career is like is like a Nia Jax just comes in and breaks her nose again. I rather it be down. I I rather it be the baby than Nia Jax. I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> her own child I, comes in and hits her with a steel chair. I I rather <laughs> fuck you. It, it's because I, the kid's fifty percent Rollins, isn't it? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm still mad at that, but that is funny. Uh, no, I I just love what Basler said. It's like, oh, you know that kid's gonna be half. What was her exact words? Like half There's a another piece contender. of shit. Half a piece but, of shit. I, I don't remember her exact. Yeah, word. I, I yeah. have to find it. She said it though. Like it I was, was a fucking, work, but yeah, it was. A it was a work, but man, did it sting! It stung, dude. Like oh, I felt it, so good to was hear a, that. It was a work, somebody. dude. I still, I don't care if it was a work, dude. It 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 it, it, felt, it felt real to me, and that's all that fucking matters. Dude. Because literally, literally every word that came out of Basler's mouth, I was thinking it. I was fucking thinking, and I'm like, finally, somebody so, says it. So, Anderson, I've already got Rollins' uh, retirement plan all planned out, right? All right, you get Walter to come I'm in there with to the steel brain, pipe, I fucking right? agree. <laughs> and Walter just beating the hell out of him. It just starts beating the hell out of him. No, so, no, so here's what I think. Then he picks happen. him up and crucifies no, no. him. Here's like what I think should happen. Was, no, 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 listen to me. I, I agree with the crucifixion. Let's keep that. Let's fucking keep that in. I think that the the, the Friday Night Messiah now, because here that's the thing. He's on SmackDown now. I think that Roman Smackdown should just fucking Savior. devour him. No, I think SmackDown should devour him. Just just destroy him. And 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 I think Roman should buckle bomb him like fifty times into the steel stairs. And 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 that's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. <laughs> I hope yeah, I mean, Seth Rollins they, sees this episode somehow. They could do the injury angle, and he could stay at home and raise the kid. Dude, that is, dude, that is a good plan. You, hey, yeah. Roman, Roman, if you ever watch this, get on that buckle bomb him like twenty thousand times to a steel chair, uh, steps. <laughs> no, no, steel no, steps. all, all over the arena. No, no, all over the arena, off the, 
on the apron, on the steps, on the plexiglass, on the announce table, on, on the, the walls, in, of the through a room. table. Yeah, you know, you know just, just buckle bomb him into Vince's private jet too. What while you're at it, just do it. <laughs> just fucking do it. Make sure it blows up. Too. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's oh, and, and, when, and, when, and when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, uh, go to the nearest Walmart with Rollins. Buckle bomb him into a big fucking stack of diapers and just leave him there, wallowing in his misery, and and then tell him now you can no no and 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 before you leave tell him now you can be daddy. So why don't they just go the extra mile and have Becky versus Seth? Loser raises the kids. <laughs> I, would uh, uh, no, no, I, I I got one for you better. Becky squashes. I got, I got I got I got one for you better. Same situation, but instead of fighting each other. So Rollins fights Roman first. Roman eats him alive. Becky comes back, beats the shit out of Roman, becoming the new fucking universal champion, proving to everyone that Rollins is a little bitch compared to his wife. Done. <laughs> and then the Usos come and double super kick Becky and Jay takes the title. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. As long as Becky beat did something that Seth couldn't do, which was beat Roman. Which, by the way, is realistic. Come on, we Seth can all see Roman that, right? Before. He beat him in the bank a couple years ago. That was punishment for marijuana. Shut the fuck up. That was punishment for uh, Roman no. Reigns smoking the ganja. All right, that was punishment. Don't count. He also pinned him at WrestleMania 31. Uh, money in the bank cash in. Big deal. Yeah, they booked themselves into a corner in that one. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I, I will. I will. I will admit the 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 greatest heist in WWE history. That's what they called it. I will agree that was fucking awesome. I just oh, yeah. wish. I just wish it could have been anyone else yeah. other than Rollins. Anderson said, "God, else. this is so awesome." Meanwhile, he's punching the side of his wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was literally like, "Man, this is so awesome." You know what would have made it better? Not being Seth Rollins. I legitimately don't like him, and that and that's not even a word. You know, uh, no, no, because here's the here's the thing: a work hate was William Regal, Chris Jericho, CM Punk. I hated those guys because they they worked you know, me to hate. No, them. Like, I to just get... hate. I just I hated Rollins from the beginning because I just don't like him as a wrestler, as a worker. I I, I don't like his but attitude. I'm... I don't like I don't I, I don't like his existence. I don't like I don't like Seth freaking Rollins. Brand, we need to get everybody we know to just like retweet the uh, tweet this video at Seth Rollins and just point out the parts where Anderson goes nuts on him and then look, just see what happens. Look, I'm not saying I'm not saying I hate him. Like, let's just but I but I fucking hate him. All right, but I fucking hate him. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, let's just have drag you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go, go ahead, Bram. I was just saying, if enough people tag him in it, I'm sure he'll see it. I mean, we're super Let's small. He's probably I never going to see, see it. Get a response from Seth he, he's probably never going to see it, but oh, no, in, case he, in case he ever does, look, look Seth. Look, Seth. I, I know all of this is a work. I know I know people make mistakes, but uh, you, you've made too many, all right? I don't, you know, get your ass the, the only per, the only, I'll, I'll take that fight. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll take that fight. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Seth. The only reason why I Seth, don't hate you Seth. more than I should is because your name is not Nia Jack. Call him Colby. Call him by his real name. Don't give him his ring name. No, uh, who's his he doesn't name? deserve Ooh. that honor. What's his real name? Colby. Colby okay. Lopez. Was that really his name? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, that is really his name, Colby it, Lopez. It, it actually is. I am not. Well. Now I just feel bad. He took his stepdad's last name. He's not actually Hispanic. Now, now I just feel bad for the guy. <laughs> Anderson's like, I just, Anderson's like, I just picked on a guy named Colby. I'm the ass. I just here. picked on a guy named Colby Lopez, man. Man, I, I feel like a total dick now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, Colby, the, Colby. Fight, the fight challenge stands. Go to Puerto Rico. I want everybody's opinion. Who is the worst wrestler in the world, in your opinion? Skills wise. Is this currently? Nia Jax. Of all time. Nia Jax. 
My my mind's not changing. I'm going to say Nash Transit. No, Nia Jax. <laughs> yeah, not, not yeah, Jax. Nash Transit. <laughs> if we're if we're talking if we're talking male wrestlers, Nash Transit was sure. stupid enough to get in the ring with Nia Jax. If we're talking if we're talking male wrestlers, um, I wouldn't count Nash Transit since he since he wasn't legal at the time to be a wrestler, so we can't really count him. So be be, be more realistic here, Nightmare. I mean. Uh, I mean, there's the obvious stuff like I mean, Kali. well, he was good enough to get in the ring with New Jack, who was high so, on so, 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 was yeah, he, the, though? The, the kid wasn't legal. Look, it look, was New here's Jack. The thing. Yes, oh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Um, Are we talking about mainstream wrestlers or just wrestlers of all time? All time. Okay. 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 Well, well, I don't really watch a lot of indie stuff, so I can't really speak on all time. But if we're talking about mainstream wrestlers, in my personal opinion, which is always correct, uh, uh, if we're talking about the males, I say Diesel. Diesel, I'll, I'll, I'll Diesel, definitely, I'll give you Kevin, Na- sure. Kevin, Nash, Kevin Nash to me, shit wrestler. Yeah. His character was great, but he he, he was not a good in ring technician. Worst of all time, no. But actually, actually, I, now that New Jacks got stuck in my head, how much were you guys to uh, to uh, wrestle New Jack in a match? I would fuck, not. Fuck that. You, you, yeah, no, fuck that shit. Dude. I mean, no. Here, here's the thing, though. New, I, I, I would do it for the right <laughs> amount of. No, no here's uh, shut, shut up. I would do it for the right amount of money. I just have to make sure not to piss him off. Because the moment you piss him off, that's when everything goes off script, and he'll beat the shit out of you for real. Yeah, but there's no telling what you. He's gonna do cut that you. Would piss him off. Look, look, I I'm already doing good, right? I'm not a yeah, white boy. Off, that's already so. a plus. That's, a, that's already a plus. I'm not a white boy, so you know. You are one of the whitest Puerto Rican I've seen. Sh- 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 shut the fuck up. Have you met Billy? Have you met Billy? Is he that is true. That's the yes. whitest Puerto Rican I've uh, ever met. Billy is a bitch. Wait, wait Billy's Puerto Rican? Yes. Well, when did that happen? Billy is a bitch. Yeah, like no, uh, wrong Billy. Wait, wait, wrong wait. Billy, Billy's uh, Puerto. Oh, Anderson. different Billy. Different Billy. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, he is a bitch, and Brand can attest to that. <laughs> Confirm. So, so, okay. So, so, what about you guys? Who's the worst wrestler? And no, not Mass Transit. Be realistic here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, I mean, like okay. the great colleague comes to mind. The great colleague, yeah. I, I would yeah. say, I would say between Diesel and Kali, I put him up there. Cause like, I put I mean, Kali because Kali killed a guy doing a flapjack. I mean, I mean who <laughs> hasn't killed a guy doing a flapjack? You know? Yeah, he did. He, he did. He gave him a massive concussion and killed him. Look, look, Fuck. look. I hear you. I hear you, but on the other side of the spectrum, we have Diesel, who sucks a lot. And then you know you, you can't you can't many, really blame how the, many the people great have died you know, he, knife. Look, a uh, Big Show almost did. Yeah, Big Show almost died. That is true. Yeah, he dropped him on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. He was uh, called the Giant. That's true. He's actually from AK. The funny, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hate on Diesel too much, but my God, he he really is shit. He's certainly you know, actually. No, no I think I know one. I think I know one guy worse than Kali. Go that ahead. is Rob Terry of TNA. Go and watch Rob Terry match. You will want to punch the wall. That name. Awful. Um, isn't isn't he from the Hard Dynasty? Rob Terry. No, 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 no. Rob Terry was a TNA meathead. He was British, and he uh, couldn't okay. even throw a work punch. Properly. I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm thinking of Teddy Hart. I'm thinking of Teddy Hart. Shit. Okay, so um, yeah, no, no. I'll send you guys some uh, Rob Terry matches after this. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. No, um, yeah, my money's on Diesel. Oh, actually, no. So, so, I mean, so I mean, wait, have, have look, 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 look. Have you seen? T- t- have hey. you seen Eric Bischoff's son? No, Eric no, he sucks. No, a, a Bischoff West should Briscoe not. Sucks. Listen, a Bischoff yeah. should not be. Joe Briscoe's son sucks. That, that, that is my personal opinion, which is always right. 
a Bischoff should not be a wrestler. Oh man, you gotta watch a lot right. of those aces and eights, TNA second generations wrestlers. They were fucking oh, awful. Oh no, what? I I actually watch uh, the aces and aces. Brand and remembers. Like, uh... Yeah, go ahead. Brand. Yeah, Wes Briscoe was awful. Man, I I I'm sorry, man. I I I haven't considered TNA watchable in many years. I mean, it's watchable now, but not it's, even by that much. It's yet. actually better now. What? It, what, it's yes, better than good, but not what, that great. What's even going on up there? It's a Canadian-ran company now, correct? Yeah. Um. So, so here's the thing, Moose, right? Eric Young's the champion. Eric Young was now Rich Swan. Rich Swan is champion. Rich Swan. What yeah. the fuck? Holy yeah, shit. Rich. Yeah, Rich fucking. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Rich no. fucking Swan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, the guy who got uh, fired from WWE for beating his girlfriend or his wife. Was that actually proven? It's now the champion of TNA. Wait, 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 wait. Was that actually proven? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> oh, fuck him. He should not be the TNA champion. It was, <laughs> yes. The, the, the funny thing is, is uh, when you guys were saying Eric Young, I was like, I thought he was in WWE. No, like, yeah, I no, forgot yeah. he got fired recently. Because <laughs> yeah. because COVID. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, there was a Ray Rice. Yeah, there was a Ray Rice situation with uh, Rich Swan. <laughs> he didn't right. do it in an elevator, but he got caught on security cameras. <laughs> wow. Um. Fuck. Yeah. No. F- fuck Rich One. I don't agree with that. Um. Yeah. Though. 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 Here's the thing. Though. Eric yeah. Young coming back to TNA, completely expected. Best I saw that the moment. The the no no the moment he got fired, I'm like, he's going back to TNA. He's just going back to TNA. I. I where else do you fucking go, Eric? Where? Fucking where? You're not going to New Japan. ROH. They already have they. They're already working with too many guys. He's not going to ROH either. They they're working like seriously. Every company right now is focused on so much talent. Ain't nobody got time for Eric Young. I'm sorry, I love you, Eric, but ain't nobody ain't nobody was gonna do shit with you anywhere. So the the right move was to go back to TNA. And Brand could have been the IWGP Heavyweight Champion if he were just stuck with it. God damn it, man. <laughs> Brand could have been wrestling Okada at, at Wrestle Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Uh, yeah. No. No. We do, we don't want that. Man, we, no, we haven't talked. Wants that. You know, now that I think about it, we focus oh, way, solely. We focus mostly on WWE, man. We haven't talked about New Japan or any other company. Oh, by the way, Brand. Uh, by the way, I I know how our feud's going to end. It's going oh, to yeah. end with me just coming and power bombing you off the top of your house to a table. And just walking away. Holy backyard shit, style, dude. son. Backyard style. We gotta get that uh we gotta get that one guy yeah, who, I mean, uh, like... who does all this fucking uh like wrestling stunts off of oh, his trampoline. Yeah. yeah. No no no. Have you seen the one guy that bumps into anything? Like he bumps into briars, he'll bump into the side of a wall. Dude, what? dude. Here here's the thing. He bumped into like toasters and microwaves, all that shit. No, and, and yep. like bar, barbed wire televisions and shit like that. Here's the thing. None of that mattered. The dude bumped through a table full of Legos. He's a man in my book. All he right? did. He's he a did. man in my book. All sure right. Legos. Now, 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 here's the thing. You want to know what's worse than Legos? Four-sided dice. Four Legos. Four-sided dice. Oh. The, the, the fucking um, the Brandon Cutler versus the fucking Liberian faggot, whoever the fuck his name is. Uh, that that match happened. I think it was on either dark or on the main show. I think it was dark, and they they had they had a no DQ match, and when Brandon Cutler busted out the bags, in my mind, I'm I'm used to this. In my mind, I'm like yeah, bring out the thumbtacks. thumbtacks. Those were not thumbtacks. He literally busted out a bunch of dice, and some of those were four sided. Have you ever stepped on a four sided die? You're gonna cry like a bitch. A Lego a, ain't got shit on a four sided die. Just imagine like he brings out a bag mixed with Legos and four sided die. No, no. Nah, that's worse than thumbtacks, my man. Right, that's worse than thumbtacks. Because here's the thing a thumbtack is thin. All of a sudden, it's, got, it's trying to go, run away. A thumbtack is thin. All right. It's gonna go in you, no fucking problem. But Legos. Like fucking four sided dice, dice in general. 
That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You're going to feel that. But you're not going to feel it in the morning. Yeah, you're going to feel it immediately right there. Yeah, so Anderson, uh, I, I do want to say that I would love to have a part two uh, if Brand would love if would like to come back. And uh, by the way, Seth Rollins, I'm going to make sure you get this. And you can go <laughs> fight Anderson. We have to close the show now. No, um, he would, he, he would never. He would never. He would never do it. Yeah. And because obviously he would never do it. But um, and beat your house. I was over to power bombing you off your house. Fuck oh, well, Kobe. Yeah. there you go. Steve. I <laughs> fuck you, Kobe. 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 And on that, Kobe, you can go suck a dick. <laughs>